Hello, everyone. I I'm letting her introduce everything because, you know, I, I figured I I'd do that. Uh, still I playing Silent Hill 2. Yeah, so before we get into our intro thing, I just wanted to say, I, every time, like, I start off these things, I use health items because I, I like to see James in the green status. Anyways, you were talking about a thing, if I... If I remember correctly, we brought up a term. It was like character. Oh yes. So Maria is both kind of an inversion of Mary in that she holds some key points of Mary that is consistent through both of them. But at the same time, she's also at a foil because she's the exact opposite of what Mary is. Yeah. Didn't you also bring up that she's kind of a uh, ironic character? She is a little bit of an ironic character in the literary sense. In that, let's see if I can bring that up again so that way I can better explain. Okay. While you do I that, I think we should have a fun game show element. Fun game show element. Yes. A fun game... Oh, I have to do the thing. I was confused. I was like, as soon as I press the keypad, this could happen. Here we go. It's actually three. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was three. This one's easy. Witnessed a gruesome murder a few years back. Brother and sister were playing in the road when they were attacked and chopped into pieces with an axe. Okay. Torn flesh. Smashed bones. Blood. Blood. Blah blah blah. And finally, what a terrible tragedy! What a gruesome end! Such Even my cookie while this place. What is the question? Now, the question. What was the name of the murderer who committed this vile act? If you play Silent Hill 4, it's one. Yeah. No, who the hell is that? Eric Guy. Now, for our third well, and final question. Take a look, Scott. South Lake is a deserted old neighborhood called South Bay. Okay, this one's actually tough. Build the central resort area northwest of the lake. There's only one road you can take. Just one road. No more. The third and final question is What is the name of that road? One. Buckman I don't think it's Buckman Two. Road. Rendell Street. Three. It's Nathan Avenue. Oh, it's Nathan Avenue. Well, that's the last of our questions. Have you got so, apparently Scott here makes the answer, head to the story. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> is that a real killer, by the way? I feel like it is. Uh, the thing that I'm finding is funny to kill it. There's actually actually several Scott Fairbanks. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can find Eric Scott. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe Scott Fairbanks is Scott Fairbanks is also. What was that? See, I like having a co-host who actually has uh, a uh, a source of uh, knowledge at hand to actually look up this stuff. Definitely is fun. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's that's why that's why I like having you as my fact checker. You know, you help. Anyways, I'm glad I can provide something. Yeah, you know, because you know it's very enlightening. I like talking about a lot of the philosophy behind this because there's a lot to really take in. And I mean, like, I I, I think we're just kind of like gonna provide it as things come. So it's going like, back to the ironic yes. character. So, irony in literature refers to playing around with words such as a meaning implied by a sentence or word that is actually different from its literal meaning. And the way that this is done with Maria is, one, she looks like 
Mary, and she seems to be a different person. That would be literal. She may look like Mary, but she's a different person. Oh, she's right there. Uh, uh, yeah. But it's kind of ironic in that she's not a different person. She is uh, clearly either attached to James, or she's attached to Mary, or possibly both. It's also kind of ironic in that she's meant to be completely different from Mary, but in a lot of ways she seems to mirror Mary, or at the very least James' perception of Mary. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that that's my... Feel free to argue with us in the comments. While you did that, I just solved the I solved the thing. Yeah, I, saw I got that. the goodies, so we're we're all good. In fact, now we're now we're going back on track. You see, I think I brought it up in the last part, but we have a puzzle. It was the day room, it was the second floor day room. We couldn't solve it because the solution is you need Maria. Because oh, the thing okay. is, there's the fridge, and you try to open it up, and James makes this comment, "I can't do it by myself. I don't know how to do this." But then. It turns out you bring Maria along, and she's like, what? You can't be a manager? Holy shit, where did you come from? I'm sorry, I just I just started hearing all these grotesque, um, fleshy sounds, and, and so all of a sudden it's like, uh, there, there's a nurse. And let me tell you something. Uh, not having your radio is actually really, really, uh, I can't think of the word. It's, it's really bizarre. That's the closest thing I can think of. It's kind of off-putting, really, when it comes down to it, because there's a segment where you'll run into enemies and you won't have your radio. I'll, yeah, I'll cover this more later on, because, you know, it's off in the distance, but at the same time, it's just, it's, it's, it's really bizarre just, like, going around without your radio just because uh, you get used to it, because it flares up whenever enemies are around, but when you don't have it, you it kind of... I guess the radio kind of has this false sense of security in the sense that if you don't hear it, you're obviously safe. Yeah. But at the same time, when you don't have it, it's going to be like, holy shit, there's monsters about and nothing's happening, and then you're like, oh shit, I don't have my radio. Maria, give me a hand here. Come on. And this is what I was talking about. supposed to be the big man around here. How's a little girl like me supposed to help? I, I, I kind of like how she's punking James right now. She's like, what, you're not man enough to open the fridge door? Yeah, again, I think it, this might be a reflection of how... Oh, absolutely. No, I, I can see that. You're, you're absolutely right. Not very cute, is it? Here, James, you take it. Because, I mean, she's supposed to. She's yeah. supposed to. And we got the lead ring. You know what we have to do with that, right? Yep. We have to put it oh. in the hand of yep. that woman. Because I said that. It, pretty simple puzzle. I mean, you get the memos, you look it up, and you're like, okay, I, I'm connecting the pieces. Two plus two equals four. It's pretty simple. Got it. Thanks, game. Question. Have you ever played a game called The Deed? No. That doesn't even sound familiar. Yeah, it's it's this little thing on Steam. It's a free game. Okay. And you play it or It takes two hours to 100% the whole thing. So Holy it's not, it's, shit. It's really short. But it's really fun because you have to figure out how to kill your sister. What? Get away with it. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And frame someone for it. Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, so not not to interrupt. It's no, just no, no, like no, that, no. that. That that is crazy. But this is when I say this is a pretty simple puzzle. Like some puzzles, you actually have to like uh, manually input where things go. This ring puzzle, you don't have to do anything. It's super easy. All you gotta do is just use the rings. And you, there you go. Objective met. Solved. We can move on. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, man. You know when I said we might get through the, uh, the, the hospital? Yeah. I think... Sorry. It's, yeah, I just, I just realized that. It just looks so weird. Okay, I took the... <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I took the director's key to the <laughs> should, museum. Should, should we read this like an insane person? I, I think we should just read it as it's written. Museum. I hid it behind the praying woman when I went out for the day trip. Well, there you go. That's pretty normal. I picked it up, but I did not steal it. I am not a criminal. He's not so a criminal. Laura wrote that. Uh, no I'm kidding. Um, that or John, uh, Peter. I don't even know. Like Eddie. The, Eddie, Eddie probably wrote. <laughs> <laughs> While well, he was throwing up in the toilet, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Actually, maybe maybe it was Angela. 
I, 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 I could see good. Angela. I could, I could see she, Angela. She was, she was shifting between, like, you know, her radical, mo- like, uh, personality. Sh- yeah. Whatever. She, I don't know. As a character, I, I find that she has, like, these radical personality changes. Yeah. Like, that, emotional that, changes. That's because she okay. was sexually abused. All right. Guess what this part is. Run. Run to the end. Don't give a fuck about Maria. If you're playing on hard, you might. But at the same time, just fucking gun it. I'm sorry, Maria, but, you know, you can go fuck yourself. Because look who's behind Oh, her. my fucking God. Yeah, That's- yeah. <gasps> just run. Just go. It doesn't even matter. Oh, my God. We gotta be quick, though, because... Oh, my God. We gotta and be- I hate that the... the, the there we go. We did it. Changes. See, so you brought up a good point. It was the fact that there's this connection with James. But you have these cutscenes here, right? And these oh, cutscenes yeah. are very character important to James's development as a character. That's true. She, and she does die. So she does can't. die. Then it's more significant than that. Considering that her death doesn't really seem to matter, I still stand by that she isn't really a person. I mean, I, w- I would agree. Because, like, so we have this... We have this DLC segment. We can play it like after we finish the game. Okay, that's awesome. And it's all focused on Maria. And I, I actually have not seen the DLC. Yeah, I haven't either. So it's it'd be like super blind if we did it. Uh, my point is, she's created. There's no means of really, I think, understanding how or why she just is. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure she has like all the uh, all the semblance of a human. Uh, yeah, I want to say a humunculus, if that makes sense. No, I can see a humunculus, but the the issue is is that she can't exactly be controlled. She that, can't. That makes her different from a homunculus, which can be controlled and follows orders. Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, because like a humunculus is kind of an artificially created person. Yes, but they can only follow orders. I don't... You ha- you have to write a name on them and put it in uh put it in a slot that's in them. It's typically written on a piece of paper. And you put it in a slot that's in their back, and then they behave based on the name you give them. I'm gonna say creative, uh, what is it? Creative liberties. I'm claiming creative liberties on that. Well, actually, given that, no, that could be an interpretation of a homunculus, because based on the name that you give the person, Mm -hmm. determines how they act. Given that Maria is similar to Mary, and actually means the same thing, just in a different language, that could cause the... The disparity between the two. I picked the right door. I know, because I got this. Every other door is locked, but this. He who is not bold enough to be stared at from across the abyss is not bold enough to stare into it himself. So that's like an inversion of Nietzsche's, um, when you stare into the the abyss, the abyss stares up at you. Yeah, the truth can only only be be learned learned by by marching marching forward. forward. Follow, Follow the, the map, map. there's, there's a, a letter and a wrench. Wow, that was good in, synchronizing. In, in, interesting interesting combination, a letter and a wrench. It's not very common. I mean, I, now that you bring that up, I feel my, my symbolism senses are going off. I, I don't know how else to s- describe that. I got, So every time like you feel like there's some sort of symbolism, like yeah. it... it I got this part of my brain that flares up, but at the same time, like, I can never quite figure out what it's trying to symbolize. And I mean, I have another thing. It's related to James and Pyramid Head. Because yeah. I, got, I got a huge thing I want to talk about. Oh, there's Laura. Yeah. I forgot her name, and I was going to be like, wait a second. That's not... Oh, wait, you're right. I'm just stupid. Because, I mean, like, I, I, I'm not going to remember Laura's name. You're going to have to be the one that's like, there's Laura, that's her. I, I only remember Laura because her name is similar to my name. I'm, I'm willing to bet you also probably remember Angela because she's pretty... Me- Actually, Angela and Eddie are pretty rememberable. I already said, you know what? I I, th- I know this is... Actually, no, the part's pretty good. I'm going to end it off here because uh, we, ne- we got a long section next time. And it's, it's going to be, like, probably a lot of philosophy just to kind of break up the Manani, because we're going back on the streets. The streets! It's going to be a huge scavenging quest. I, I showed you my page, right? Yeah. I, that's yeah. not your initial reaction. Look at all that. Yeah, I did It's that. a whole page. Motherfucker. Ri- rin- yeah, yeah. All right. I think I remember it all in my head, but I'm going to have to study that up and sure. I don't even know. Anyways, see you tomorrow. Or actually, whenever. Whatever. I don't even know. And remember, guys... Beware when fighting monsters, because you may be 
may become one.